As part of efforts to show benevolence to orphans and the less privileged in the society, the Naval Officers' Wife Association has supported four children with scholarships and also donated food items and other consumables to an orphanage home. The Zona Director of NOAA, Lagos Island, Olufun Kebankoli, alongside other members while on a visit to Rako Child Initiative Orphanage, urged spirited Nigerians to support those in need. Plus, the Venice correspondent Destiny Momo has more. This orphanage has been enjoying the goodwill of the Naval Officers' Wives for close to 10 years. Today's visit saw four children receiving scholarship and other valuables. The Zonal Director disclosed that the donation was an initiative of NOAA as supported mainly by their husbands. NOAA is a non-governmental organization and we are majorly being sponsored by our husbands with little or no assistance from corporate organizations. Though when it becomes, who we, we are we not, to, not to embrace it? So having said that, for years, it's been our focus to ensure that um, we touch lives. In fact, that is our anchor drive to ensure that we touch lives positively within our environment. If I mean environment, I mean within the Navy um, family, then outside too. So that's what we've, that's we've been doing in here. We felt that we should um, not just come drop food items for, for them. We also believe that we should try as much as possible to see how best we can, we can sponsor some students through, through um, secondary school. And how it's been said that a, a child trained via, um, through, uh, through the secondary school or given education is a nation that is being trained. She enjoined the head of the orphanage to be steadfast in bringing up the children who have been brought to the home due to unfavorable circumstances. The founder Rako Child Initiative Orphanage and Widows Home Pastor Daniel Waka was filled with excitement and gratitude as he thanked Noah for the continuous support to the home. Yeah, coming has been a great blessing to us over the years. But it has been a journey of grace, God's grace. It has been no, not easy. These children, some of them came when they were two years old, three years old. Today we have 19 in the university. One is serving now in Porter Court, and the others two are doing well. We have almost 200 in different secondary schools, the same thing in different primary schools all over. So we see them grow. We see them when they came in. Like uh, some of them, like I see that picture here, they, 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 they look so hard. Like this one talking now, you see her picture she came, when she came in primary school. Now, come here, come here. Now she's now in uh, uh, Kogi State University, 411. 411. She came uh, hopelessly then, but now full of assurance. Noah says its love for charity will be extended to the widows next. The gesture was born out of the humanitarian side of the NOAA national president, Mrs. Ijoma Blessing Ogala, who believes orphans and widows should not be left out in this Yuletide celebration. Destiny Mama plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.